Hello there. Hello. Welcome um, back. Did we already show your short hair? Did yes. that happen? Yeah. 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 I've had this for about a month now. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh yeah, we we saw it on the live stream. Like, mm-hmm. da. Uh, how have you been, my dear? Fine. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mute my phone. So just... Oh, I didn't. I didn't even hear that. Um... No, okay. Then it's just my awkward face. Yes. Sorry. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> I always you. Oh, oh yes. God. Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> um, I can do it the same way he does it, but emotional damage. All weekend, just done. I'm done. I cried all weekend for various reasons, <laughs> and I'm not okay. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about it anyway. Um. So yeah. But um. Uh. Do you want to introduce our lovely little podcast? Oh God, that bit. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. First of all, I apologize. I'm exhausted. So this is what you're getting from me today. <laughs> I'm on time. Very tired. <clears throat> Hi everyone. <laughs> that was a bit manic. Jesus fuck. <laughs> oh, right. Hi everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That's Lily K. And that's all we have. That's well, all no, we, we have. got a bunch. Of, that's all. We've we yeah. got other stuff to talk about, but like we do. That's that's the big bit. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I have new glasses. I did think something was different. <laughs> but then you started messing around with your microphone and I totally <laughs> forgot that I had that thought. <laughs> Look, I have a, a because obviously it's it's Murphy's rule. So first I discovered that my eyes are not working this the way they used to uh, again. Mm. So I had to swap my glasses. And then of course I need a laptop upgrade as well. And I completely failed to set up my laptop properly for this, the whole recording bit. So Fun times. I had my eyes tested the other week. They're fine. (laughs) She says the prescription is so small, you don't need glasses. It's it's a genetic destiny for me, Lily. I'm just making sure I keep an eye on it. Pun not intended, but very good anyway. (laughs) Okay, okay, fine, fine. Um, But yeah, so new glasses, new laptop, new everything. Nice. Happy days. They're not technology. everything. Hmm? I love a bit of new technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always fun. I like Actually, it. Speaking of, I just realized that my I don't want my watch to accidentally go off while we're recording. <laughs> fair, fair. My phone already went off, so it's okay. Um, uh, well, I'm not, but I don't think we're going to do much about the what did you watch last two, past two weeks. Uh, but if you want to mention something, just, you know. I'm caught up on Andor. Yes, I did it, Mum. Yes, I'm so proud. I was like, ah, you didn't tell me. <laughs> no, I wanted to just get through it and then tell you about it afterwards because I, I, and plus I was kind of going quite slowly initially, and then I actually found more time to because I, I really wanted to keep going the moment I started, <laughs> but I had to steal moments throughout my day. Hmm, that's fair. And it's, you know, I can't wait to talk about it. I'm going to have like a very special episode with Elliot and Tinnith, uh, the number one stand joining us. So, so we met. Yes. Finally, we Do did. You know it's funny. Yes. Today this goes out Thursday. I'm going to have lunch with him. Wait, say it again. <laughs> He's coming down to, to Brighton and we're going to go out to have lunch. <laughs> oh, okay. That's great. That's great. I like that. But when the people on the internet watch this, I would have already been out to lunch. That's just Ooh. true anyway, but like specifically with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Wait, is he still in here? Mm-hmm. Like in the he's UK? Spending the, he's, he's, spending, he's spending the month here, so he'll be going I think, next week. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. I somehow missed that information. Now I know. Okay. I, I told that this is only going to be here for like a month and then that's it. It, it will be about a month at that point. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, time passes differently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
Uh, anything else you want to mention when you watched? No. Nothing. I don't think so. No. I don't think there's anything else. I really can't remember at this point. No, because I got God of War and I started playing that. Same. I haven't had time to get into it properly. <laughs> same. It's God of I'm War about, time. what, like six hours in or something like that? Which well, same. Considering... Uh-huh. Yeah. Same, yeah. Uh, yeah, six hours in. And Still I miss the first area. <laughs> I I miss I miss boy. I just miss that. It is I, I do find it very just one of my the things that entertain me so much about the first game, it's a very small thing, but it, it yeah, it entertained me a lot. Was that if you like bumped into a tray as he'd like jump back from you, you go, Oh he still got <laughs> then, that. But he's not got the low voice anymore. Oh yeah. Because every time he did it in the first game, he sounded like Mickey Mouse. So every time he went, Oh, I went, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> now good. he doesn't do it properly anymore and it makes me sad. Oh, I mean, he goes that's... Oh. <laughs> like he, yeah. he actually you... sounds like a person, yeah, and not fair. Mickey Mouse. Ah, uh, sad days. Sad. I just miss. I just miss uh, Kratos saying, "Boy, I miss that." I kind of miss that, but you know, it's still a fantastic game. In with six hours in already, I can I can say that it's very good. It's good. very it's very so happy with do. it. Um. I watched, uh, the only thing I will mention is that I, I watched, uh, uh, shut up, uh, Inside Man, uh, which is, I said it to my microphone, the shut up thing. Not, not, <laughs> you were first. Okay, there we go. You stop moving for a second then. <laughs> Did I? Oh, it, it can happen. Yeah, okay. It's fine, so I you're have, good. It's, yeah, I have, you said I, you... What are you going to say? Sorry, I was going to go back to the, <laughs> the topic of the book. This is going well. <laughs> it's going so well. <laughs> It's so Continue. professional. Um, I have a new laptop, so I don't have like uh, I I only have Wi Fi connection. So if I suddenly oh, stop, it's because of that. Just so you know, it's, okay. it's a warning. I gave on many mornings, mornings, mornings. Uh, so many mornings. So, <laughs> <laughs> She's going so well. It's such a good episode already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just so you guys know. So I watched Inside Man, uh, on, uh, Netflix. Uh-huh. It's bad, isn't it? I mean, everyone is just plain stupid in it. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing I was reading about it, because like the trailer came and I was like, oh no. Do I watch this just because David is there? Like, is that the only do I watch it for him? And I the, like, the moment the first episode aired and I started reading tweets, I went, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> the answer to the question is no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, David and and Stanley Tucci were both yeah, fantastic, fantastic as always. Yeah, but no, <laughs> Stephen 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 again, didn't he? Yes, yes, it was disappointing, to mm-hmm. say the least. Uh, I thought I mentioned it because I <laughs> I was interested to see your face because I like the, the I watched the trailer and I was like, this is Stephen Moffat production. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. It's, I think it's every time I will never, never be more entertained than when uh, the Dracula series came out, uh, and people were like praising the first two episodes. They were like, "Oh man, this is actually really good," and then the third episode dropped, and they went, "Oh no, it's shit!" And I went, "Wow, speed run." <laughs> <laughs> I'd never watched it, so I, 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 I didn't even bother. I was like. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. Sure. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it it was okay f- because of David and 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 Stanley Tucci, Stanley but Tucci. that's that's it, that's it. I was so annoyed with it. I was like, oh my god, everyone is stupid in this one. <laughs> yeah, I Still did read it. that a lot. Uh, uh, a lot of the sort of reaction to tweets from people vaguely tweet along with it were basically just sort of like, nobody would do this. No. No, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Like, you can't be serious. <laughs> and they are serious. And I was like, ah, okay. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next, please. Um, did we ever mention Enola Holmes in the previous? Uh... Oh, no, because I think we watched it afterwards. We both watched so, Enola Holmes, too. I knew we, there was probably something. We watched that, both of us, at this point. Too. 
we both agreed. It's a fun movie. It Good. is very fun. I enjoyed it a lot more than I enjoyed the first one. I I, I will put this out there as well because uh, I had problems with the first one. This one, loved it. It's a, it's a good mystery. Like I it is. tickled the brain well. We found that we both figured out like opposite things basically. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, <laughs> I can be a Holmes as well. <laughs> of course, I couldn't. You know, but, you know. The the really fun thing is the thing. I'm, I'm gonna. We're gonna be very. I don't think we need to spoil anything. The thing I, I got myself so convinced of. I yes. was also very aware didn't make sense, but I was like, no, no, it's gotta be this. This just could oh. be another twist. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah yeah i feel you on that i, I figured out I'm a few there. things about it and i was like super proud super I proud did, of i just i liked the use of things like um the fan the fan language and victorian flower language and all that mm-hmm. sort of stuff because uh uh i my I actually have it over there i'm not going to reach over because that would will disrupt things but um my grandma had a has a fa- had a fan i have it now um mm. and in the on the box it had a couple of like phrases that you could do with it i can't remember any yeah. of them now because i don't have the box anymore because it was yeah, yeah, yeah. very raggedy but um so i recognized it immediately when they started doing it plus and then on the other hand my my best friend is big into victorian literature and has told me much about victorian flower language so i was like ah arthur <laughs> <laughs> okay that's fair that's fair uh so yeah it's fun uh you guys should watch it it's hard to good, watch. Good movie. It is, nice. It is. I feel like it has, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, since I have seen uh, you know, some some decent Sherlock Holmes content, it feels like. I haven't I haven't seen some in, yeah. a, in a in a hot minute. Um and whatever you may think about Henry Cavill, I really like his version of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, as I said it before with the first one. Yeah. It's good. I don't mind it at all but, you know very it's funny in this one as well yeah which is <laughs> you know it worked it works it was good uh but yeah 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 that's it i i figured that we didn't mention that because we we watched it afterwards so yeah and our homes watch it um and now on to today's topic oh do you want me to do it <laughs> yeah oh we are talking about Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Like that. I don't know why I said it like that. I don't know, but I liked it. Uh, yes, yes, you're talking about uh, the second Black Panther movie. Uh, and and I will go to you first because I will get emotional as I already told <laughs> you about it. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I, I summed it up very well with the message I sent to you that I sent to my mother initially because uh, I had to really quick I was like I'll send the thoughts and I have to drive two hours um, <laughs> uh, I thought it was an incredibly moving tribute to him and the character and everything like that and I thought it was a wonderful exploration of grief and all of those things um, I think the plot is kind of a mess <laughs> okay we're going to get into outside of more. yeah outside of everything like mm. I think the emotional heart of the movie is incredibly solid and and well you know handled and everything to do with that but I found the plot itself to be a bit all over the place and as much as I love Martin Freeman and he was very much enjoyable to watch in this movie it did feel like his entire storyline was completely pointless (laughs) I agree with that yeah (laughs) I agree with that it's like oh it's nice to see you there's really no point to you being (laughs) I I I I'm not gonna lie. I watched a uh, first Black Panther movie yesterday as I was uh, doing a commission, mm. and you know, uh, especially watching that and thinking back to Wakanda Forever, it's like, like you know, you could have used Martin <laughs> in a much better way. Yeah. <laughs> Just you know, he was he was so good and well integrated into into the first one. I I think mm. they could have on something similar uh, to his character here, which is, you know, I still I wouldn't say he was completely I mean, he's, he's, he's pointless. He's not completely pointless. No. But his, like, it, his storyline felt, like, kind of shoehorned in a bit. A, a little bit, yeah. 
yeah i i i yeah yeah i agree i agree i i even wrote it uh, in my article as well that will come out probably next week or somewhere there um that uh the whole plot line about world leaders trying to get vibranium just, and it just it disappeared <laughs> It, yeah, it's it kind of disappeared. I, it was like yeah, it's it's the backdrop. I, I can see. I the, the trouble with it is, is like I can see every reason for the like decisions about why they're in there and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just doesn't. I just don't think it hits as well as it 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 it, it should have, especially because the the on the other side, actually, the story is about the the story is about how colonialism turns. Hmm. black and brown people against each other like yeah. it they they it is they causes um uh fighting where there hmm. doesn't need to be fighting because they're because white people <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that is the way and that is very profound in the narrative but like on the other side richard schiff is in this movie and i was like fucking what <laughs> he's like oh evil toby ziegler in it but he's only in it for like five minutes total, and all he does basically, is yeah. basically plays evil American government man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. like you had Richard Schiff, and you wasted him. You wasted Richard Schiff, which is you know, come on, <laughs> don't waste Richard Schiff when you have him. Also, Lake Bell was in it for like five minutes, and she got murked. The the moment I realized that that oh that's Lake Bell oh my god I I knew I knew and then done. And I was like, okay, goodbye, Lake Bell, I guess. <laughs> I thought maybe she'd survive, but no. Yeah, no, she's dead. Oh, as a point, spoilers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oops. Sorry, guys. Spoilers. Every time, every time. I don't think do it this. matters too much. Um, yeah. Um, it'll be in the title. Yeah. We're going to put it in there and in the description. So, spoilers. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. I agree on that point because it. it I think... This has a lot to do with the fact that they had to do a major rewrite on the movie. Uh, yeah, that would probably be, make sense. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I, that, like, I, hmm. okay, how to put this nicely without hurting anyone's feelings? I don't know. Uh, I heard some complaints that it's too long. And I was like, okay. I don't I... think it's too long. I think the rhythm is off. Yes. So you you yeah. know what I mean? Because I was talking to Louis about this today, my younger brother Louis, because um, he went and saw it on the ticket I was meant to go see it on because I thought I booked it for Friday, but actually yes. I booked it for Saturday. I love I that around. message. I was oh. so good. Yes. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Um, so I gave it to, to Louis. He's going to pay me back at some point um, <laughs> um and he, he he very much agreed with me it there's something about the rhythm of the movie it feels like it ends about three times and i feel like mm. it, 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 it i don't know if it I agree feels with off to me i don't know maybe maybe i'm i might be mixing up that with with another film i watched recently that i felt like ended mm. multiple mm. times over but yeah. I did feel like there there is a there is a rhythm to films, right? You kind of have a sense of innately where the first act ends, where the second act begins, where the third act starts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you kind of get. I think you get an. You have a kind of an internal rhythm about where a movie should be dropping off, mm. and it's like when a movie. It feels like it, a lot of movies nowadays, but Marvel is kind of one of the big. It, it is big, one of the bigger ones that has this issue. It, it, they just keep going with stuff. It, things just keep sort of happening. Like it's like scenes being put together as opposed to like a flow. Um, and it, it, it's not just Marvel. I've seen it in other things that I've watched yeah. as well. I just can't think of anything off the top of my head currently. Um, <laughs> uh, but there's this, there. I feel like there is a sense of like the art of like the sort of rhythm of filmmaking has kind of gone out the window a bit recently and what the way i put it to louis was that the movie kind of felt like it had the structure of a tv show shoved into a movie um time frame but like done badly 
It's the only way I can explain it in a way that kind of makes it. Like, it doesn't feel like it should be a TV show, but it feels like they've tried to make... It, it feels like there's a, the rhythm of what you get in a TV show, like the act structure you get in a TV yeah. show, but mm. in the film instead. Mm. So things kind of keep sort of picking up and dropping off and then picking up and dropping off in the way that you kind of have that in, in TV shows, but it doesn't fit within the time frame or the, the medium that you're working with. No. I found it very odd. Because I did, there was a couple of moments in it where I was like, oh, we're, go we're going to another place and we're going to another place and we're going to another place. Yeah. I'm not it's sure it bothered me as much, to be honest. Like, uh, you know, I, I think, like, I we, we didn't need the whole world leaders stealing vibranium. No. Obviously, that's, you know, that's what it kind of, Kickstarts the whole thing. It, it is, um, and I think the the idea about um yes, the rest of the world obtaining vibranium, yes, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. America, would be a bad. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> it yeah. would be bad. Um, and I can see how it ties into you know it, the the way they brought it into the film is incredibly good. But you're right, it just, just sort of it it just sort of disappears. It just disappears halfway through. It's like okay, I guess they are no longer caring about it or they just pull themselves out of the whole thing it, it almost feels like this is the backdoor plot into something else that's getting, like I feel like because Martin Freeman is going to be quite important in Secret Invasion right that's the something I yeah, saw yeah, yeah, yeah. recently yeah, yeah. you know yeah. I, I'm the impression I get just based off of that and not knowing really anything else about Secret Invasion is that yeah. maybe it's kind of a backdoor plot essentially and they're like we'll introduce Maybe? this here and it will probably it'll pay off later in another film, and it's like, well, that just feels weird. <laughs> Especially as everything else in the film is very self-contained. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that that's why it's it's a bit weird. But I I also think that uh, it it probably would have been a completely different role. Like that whole storyline would have been a uh, would have got a completely different role if our mm. dearest Chadwick be still around because obviously it, it it was all set up at the end of the first movie well during the first movie basically but at the end they were like okay let's open Wakanda uh towards the world and let's share them what we can uh and I I it, it like even now we're watching the first one it felt like that it, it became just uh you know even more important like it's it's like a big thing in there that they they are building towards and and i feel like that they kind of took a lot out of it like it feels like there's more there that we just simply didn't oh absolutely get to see. it it does feel like there's a lot of stuff missing from that yeah. part yeah. of it Maybe they're gonna, yeah. Maybe it's gonna be in situations. Feels, I don't know. I I was thinking about this earlier. It almost feels like there should have been like a sense of, um, it. it I mean, yeah. It just feels like it, if they were able to, yeah. Maybe they literally just didn't work. But like that force should have been more like oppressive. Mm. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. is kind of ironic considering the whole nature of everything that's going yeah. on but like um it yeah it just it feels like if you're going to have this narrative about these two cultures yeah who have a lot more in common than they do differences mm. um it, it feels like that pressure from the outside should have been the thing more forcing them together which i guess it was because the whole thing was about how Riri was made of a thing that the government, the US government, then used to try and, and you know steal resources from the yeah. uh, land and all this sort of stuff. But I, I, I don't know. I don't. I, I have. I have a lot of like little itty bitty things, but I almost don't want to get into them properly until we actually talk about the stuff that was really good. Yeah, I think. I. I mean, to be fair, uh, I think we can jump on that now. Yeah, because I I wanna I wanna circle back around to uh this point in a bit, and I think we can okay. get to that later. But on the other hand, things I liked. Yes, I think Ryan Coogler has a, a singular way of creating the world, or the, just like the 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 environment and the just the internal world building of Wakanda. It is so vibrant and full yeah. of life and culture, and it always makes me so like. 
it almost because I mean you know I'm fucking British and yeah and I well, was you know raised in England and all that sort of stuff I don't really have culture in the same way that we robbed from everywhere else you know mm-hmm. um and it's the I always get a bit of heartache when both thinking about the fact that you know this country robbed that from so many other places yeah. but not entirely but like definitely destroyed it in a lot of ways yeah uh, and also just that we don't ha- I don't you, you have that connection to something that is like deeply old and has a lot of um you know value in in mm. remembering things from the past and moving especially I mean England is such a strange place because they are so focused on the idea of tradition but have an absolutely like it just it, it, it refuse to acknowledge any part that they play in anything terrible yeah it's just, it, no. so it's it is it's, it's so warming and and wonderful to see uh, a place that is so just rich it like it feels rich in so many ways in so many forms of the word yeah um so being able to watch it i'm like oh no this is n- this is great <laughs> such a there's such a w- wonderful depth to the mm. everything here and if throughout the costumes and the environments and all that sort of stuff it's just nice i love that uh, in, in specifically is it's it is gorgeous to look at like both um uh, uh wakanda and, and talokan as well mm. it's just like you know it's it's magic like uh obviously i cried throughout the whole movie i think that goes without <laughs> saying <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know it it wasn't just because of the fact that it it pays such a beautiful tribute to chadwick mm. uh and uh you know i i um i immediately immediately thought about uh how i miss this a lot of times when they especially when unfortunately someone dies who's you know in in like a big movie trilogy or something mm-hmm. and that's the next movie coming out and if it, it it always feels like that it's it's there and they somehow deal with uh that person's there but uh not really in a way uh like obviously i'm talking about especially about anthony elchin Ah, okay i was i was personally thinking about carrie fisher yeah yeah i mean it is there as well uh you know but uh because obviously anton died after star trek uh the third star trek film was finished Mm. and i'm not gonna lie and it, it might be a bit of a selfish thing but uh ever since uh we watched the third one and obviously they didn't shoot any scenes where Chekhov is gone, uh, his character or, or anything. Um, there's like a small tribute at the end that for a they friend. They do, they, yeah, they do, they do the tribute to, because it's a double whammy, they do the tribute to Anton and then also and Leonard then Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who also obviously passes away as Pock in, in the movie, uh, mm. because that happened during the filming of the, uh, of the film. Um, but I, I kind of want the Ford movie where they pay tribute. It's so Ant- that, I know they, it's 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 a no, bit no, of a I selfish mean, thing. No, 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 not at all. I think that you're entirely right. I just mean that the whole discussion around a fourth star that in fourth in the you know reboot mm. sense, uh, Star Trek movie has been so up in the air because it was like it was happening and then it's not happening and then it was yeah. happening again and now it's kind of not happening again and it's like. Can we decide, please? <laughs> We'd be nice. Make uh, a decision, Paramount. Please. Uh, but um, uh, I am, and I, I, you know, I am incredibly, incredibly grateful uh, that they not just only led the people who knew and loved him to mourn him in a proper way with this film, but uh, they led us as well. Like the whole thing, it it didn't stop, you know. Like it, it wasn't like, uh, oh, oh my God, he's dead. We are grieving. There's this beautiful, beautiful funeral scene for him, uh, at the beginning, the one behind me, um, and oh my God, you know what killed me really was the moment when the logo came in and it was just silence. Mm, the that Marvel was really logo. nice, and and it was all him, and I was yeah. like. 
I was already crying, really, but really I, I died there. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> First five minutes, I really wasn't expecting to be smacked with it immediately. Like, Same. Same. First five minutes, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I know. I know. I was the same. I was like, I kept oh God, weeping. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> and and you know what? Uh, how you could tell that it it had like such a huge impact. I don't know about uh, what was your experience, but the cinema uh, and the people I was watching it with uh, during that silent moment, you could hear it was it was really quiet. Yeah, yeah, you could like. And you could hear sobs and everything. So oh, I didn't I was... hear that, but I could hear it was I, uh, quiet in the room. <laughs> uh, I could hear some around me, uh, well, and myself, obviously. Uh, but it's you know, I'm I'm glad that they didn't just drop it there. Uh, mm. I mean, I mean, the the whole thing is about the grief of everybody that was close to him, and it was um, I think it was beautifully executed. I did have a moment thinking about the uh, just now actually when you were talking about. The fact that they kind of let it play out for the characters mm. as well as as, mm. as as the the actors, I was thinking about um, uh, the death of uh, John Spencer in the last season of The West Wing and how they dealt with that. Yeah, because they do not not something like entirely, but fairly similar. Yeah, um, uh, where they you know he he has a heart attack in the show and he passes away and they let everybody like grieve in, in the episodes and, and everything um yeah it was really, and i remember thinking that was really really lovely as well plus the, the other really nice thing about that was that they left john spencer's even after he passed away they left his he, he his credit was there until right yeah. to the end yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <sighs> i remember yeah you know it's it's uh it, it was like you know it's heartbreaking but uh mm. Uh, obviously it is um and obviously i spent the entire weekend finding videos of <laughs> Letitia right and everyone just talking about him and uh i i even shared this with you like you mm. know Letitia talking about the the day she found out or how how she found it out and and her initial reaction was to call him because he's gonna pick it up and it all turns out to be a joke and it wasn't, and and I was like, oh god. <laughs> I think one of the things I, I particularly liked about it was that I think it's it's been well publicized now that obviously he hid it from everybody. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was incredibly um, he stoic about the entire thing, and I I liked mm-hmm. the fact that they kind of wrote that in to the mm-hmm. whole thing. In yeah, when she was oh, like, yeah. he came to me far too late because he was trying to deal with it on his own, and by the time he came to me, it was too late. Um, I was like, oh, that was too real. <laughs> I know, I know. It's be- because I honestly thought that uh, in the movie they're going to do something different. Like I don't know, he he gets a serious injury or something, and and they can't. No, he was just sick. And no, and he was just sick. And it it was like, okay, <laughs> this is I I can I can I so I I I literally and every time I was like, okay, calm down, just you know watched the movie someone else came out nakia or or uh or ever across and and you know obviously they they talked about him and i was like okay here here it comes again i'm i'm crying again i can't stop so i cried throughout the whole movie um, <laughs> just throughout the, i'm not even joking like even afterwards uh especially when uh shuri who, who we have to talk about next now mm. um uh finally gets to sit down and deal with the loss. Let herself sit down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, of of her family, literally, mm. because uh, obviously the other shocker that I don't mm. think anyone expected. No, and I think honestly, because it didn't get me, and I think it's because it's right next to. I was, I, I would think I was kind of so in shock at the idea that they do it in the first place because it's like, mm. but you've already dealt with an actual death. You can't do this. Yeah, yeah. So I do. I like. I do, I honestly was just sort of like, oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Based. <laughs> I, I was the same. I was like, you know, obviously it's it's a heartbreaking scene. Uh, mm. We're talking about Angela Bassett, by the way, uh, Queen. Our Queen. Wanda. Yeah, our Queen, a beautiful Queen, uh, who who sacrifices herself for Riri, um, and uh, it comes 
so unexpectedly in the movie mm-hmm. uh, and so sudden that you can you don't even have like a second to breathe out like oh okay she's dead now she's is she dead what is happening like i i was so shocked by it um but uh back to Letitia, uh mm. who obviously you know uh she had a lot of controversy before the movie came out uh which was I'm not uh, gonna lie. I sorry. I was yes, <laughs> yes. I was a bit on edge uh, throughout the movie. Like, how are they gonna mm. handle her? I mean, I'm I'm just, I'm gonna be honest. I was hoping that it's gonna be Okoye who who's. I gonna become... feel like narratively speaking, it would have worked as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially with everything that happened with her and 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 every, I was like, I honestly thought that we were gonna bait and switch us and like actually yep. give it to her. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, this also makes sense. I see why yeah. they're doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, and I gotta say that Letitia was brilliant. She's she's she is one of I mean I, I, all of the women in this the movie oh, are um, so good the part of, and yeah the, they're all the fucking phenomenal yeah it really is uh, just a, a um just a masterclass of yep black woman excellence yep oh yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh my god um, yep <laughs> every single one of them I agree um, uh yeah it was um. I forgot where I was going with it, but you know, she was uh, phenomenal. I I was very appreciative of the fact that we got to see everybody the way that everybody mourned differently, mm, mm, and I really mm. liked the fact that we got to see that she was just angry, and because yeah. I think that's an incredibly valid thing, um, yeah. Uh, as well, I did have a really interesting, very short conversation with the woman who sat next to me after the film finished, and this kind of comes round to um, what I was going to mention before. Mm, mm. Um, in that she turned to me, she's a beautiful black woman, she had her kids with her, where yeah. she was kind of like, I'm really glad the movie ended that way, because I thought it got a bit shit in the middle. And she was referring to the, the I think she what she was referring to was the just how dark it was getting, because I really was like, it was getting incredibly dark. Um, in that sort of like, I was kind of, impre- I personally was quite impressed with the fact that they allowed it to get that dark, because I knew that by the end of it, she was going to, pick the slightly more noble path but i did i i got her point in that it was the um and also just because it was messy in places and it kind of jumped all over the place and um and the thing i was going to mention was the fact i feel like this movie does suffer a little bit and plot wise from the the sort of nudo narrative dissonance of of characters killing people because they don't really talk about the effect of war like they, they're considering the movies about war they don't really discuss the like ethical or moral implica- like the the emotional implications of that on on a person mm. Riri is 19 years old and by the end of the movie she's killing people and that's just never addressed yeah 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 and that that threw me uh, quite a bit um uh and i i don't think that the movie deals with that as well as it really should have or even looks at it properly mm. um that 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 really it, that did stand out to me but i did because she was um i i i had to think about it for a little bit like, she was like i honestly wasn't sure how i was going to explain this to the kids that was what her what she said um mm. and i was like mm, mm-hmm. yeah no i think that's yeah. fair yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. because they really it, like the movie doesn't discuss it very well that's true <laughs> That's true. I I won't even argue on that, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I wanted to say something, but it it got away from me. It was like just out the window. <laughs> it will come back at a random moment. I'm hundred percent sure. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I uh, yeah. Back to Letitia a little bit. Mm. Uh, I loved, and I mean, loved the scene. Uh, and not just because I love Michael B. Jordan. I was going to say you're going to talk about Killmonger now. Of I also I very much enjoyed this, actually. Oh my god, it was such a good scene. Like honestly, mm. as as the throne room was in flames and everything, and I was like, "Who's going to sit on the throne? Who's going to sit on the throne?" And then the camera turns. And it's fucking Gary Killmonger, and I was like, "It was really interesting for me actually because I uh did I did a little poke into the Black Panther tag because it was trending on Tumblr before I went into the movie." I didn't go very far, but the one thing I did see was a mention of 
when they turned the camera around and they the the post was very nice in that they didn't say who it was so I yeah. did still go in knowing it but I knew it wasn't going to be her or yeah. like uh or I knew it wasn't well, even then it was it was vague enough because I thought they were going to try and make it out like it was going to be T'Challa in that mm-hmm. sort of bait and switchy kind of way where they're like yeah, still yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that sort of thing um but like now the post makes a lot more sense post watching the movie um in uh where they put redacted and I was, yeah. I was sitting there going oh so who's gonna be oh oh my gosh <laughs> and it's like I, I, I really because I was like it's not gonna be her so who the hell could it be and I was like oh that didn't even occur to me <laughs> no I, I was like I was so surprised by it but it was such a nice welcome back because once mm. again rewatching Black Panther he's such a good character he's I, I, he's, he's actually he's Jordan. <laughs> yes that's one thing about him <laughs> you know this is, it's just a great character so Mm. But um, uh, you know, I I I loved it because, uh, honestly, I think that that it it just I love the whole uh, character development that Shuri went through because mm. obviously she starts off as this uh very smart, very energetic uh young woman in the first one, and then uh you already know that she's a genius and she can fight if she wants to and all that. But you know, here in this movie, her storyline is so so good and I, I just love that in a lot of ways she is just like her brother, but there's a darkness in her. Yeah, she's got a very, and I think, important and distinct turn to her character that means that she's, that, and I felt it being very purposefully placed, which was nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were like, she has a lot in common because they are siblings and they, you know, all this sort of stuff. But also, she's not her brother. She's her mm-hmm. own person. Exactly. And here is the thing that makes her incredibly distinct from that. Yep. Yeah, uh, and I was like, it was it was such a good storyline for her, and and yeah. and I and I love this, let's say, grown up or a little bit new Shuri that we yeah. we get to see and we get to know uh, through this, and I and I love that it's not simply like you know it's it's uh, actually I wrote about this as well in the article. I'm spoiling my article. <laughs> by the way just just letting you know uh it's the same kind of uh um development that uh peter parker goes through in no way home yeah no i was just thinking about that somebody pointed out they, they're both basically like you know orphans now yeah yeah, yeah. they and, are orphans now <laughs> and and they both had to face uh the choice between vengeance and being merciful in mm. the end That's and true. uh and and i love you know I, I loved how, how they both choose that, you know, this is not the way uh, to do it. And and it just, it's it changed him uh, uh, so well. And I honestly can't wait to to welcome back Shuri in in another solo film of Black Panther or, or in a team up uh, even. Well, actually, I think that leads very nicely on to, so there was, I think, important to talk about is that there was, there is a, a group of people who I think have an incredibly valid point in that there yeah. was like a lot of calls to recast T'Challa mm. because it was something that Chadwick also kind of wanted. He wanted to make sure that the character lived on in a different way. And yeah. I th- actually thought it was fucking genius the way that they managed to do both. <laughs> I did think it was a bit tacked on. Like Louis and I were talking about it. It feels a bit sort of like, oh, we're doing this now because it is like a post credits thing where they just oh, like, yeah, we're yeah. just going to introduce this plot point right at the end with no like, like sort of build up to it beforehand um which yeah but but the soul of the idea brilliant yeah because it, it's like oh you get to do both <laughs> well done yep yeah yeah i was i was very i was very surprised by that post scene. Yeah. i think i had the same look on my face as shuri had like i was like oh <laughs> oh <laughs> oh oh my god <laughs> Yes, I love this so much. Uh, so yeah, it's it's. Uh, I like it. I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna say like I I like it a lot, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what they're gonna do with it. It's a fun seed to plant that will come to mm. fruition many, where however long how, down down the line. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. exactly. Which so. I, I was like, I was like, I, I respect, I respect it, I respect it. Yes. Yes. Um and the other thing I want to talk about is obviously our 
Willem. Mm. Namor. Namor. I first of loved the storyline. Mm. I I I I think it was so good. Uh, I I love the underwater word of Tolkien as well. Uh, uh, so beautifully done, especially mm. when uh, he takes Shuri to to have a look around. It's just you mm. know that's where you see all the way they it's... are very similar, like yeah. with Wakanda and everything. And it's 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 just beautifully shot. The music, uh, the feeling of the whole thing is is just wonderful. I loved how they put in the backstory of how it all started. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I will put this here as a Marvel lover. Uh, he is now the second mutant. Yeah, I was go- he MCU. actually calls himself a mutant as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because obviously the first one, if you haven't watched it yet, that is confirmed to be a, a mutant is Miss Marvel. Um, mm. And mm. You, you you haven't seen that still. No, I didn't. I didn't know that. Miss Marvel is a mutant as well. Uh, she has mut- okay, mutant well, genes. Uh, and, uh, and we have our second mutant, so... Do you know it's really funny the way the, the way that they they because they, obviously mutants haven't re- they haven't existed in 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 Marvel universe because yeah. uh, up until this point uh, Fox was its own thing mm-hmm. and now it's not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we don't need to no. explore the implications nope. of that one. Um, nope. <laughs> um, but now it, it but it's really funny because when he says he's a mutant, the word doesn't. Like it, I, I understand. Obviously, you understand as a person who understands the rest of the culture that yeah. the word mutant in that sense is referring to the X Men version of mutant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It also works on its own as just sort of like yeah, I'm, yeah. Literally mutated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But he is like in 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 the comics. He's is uh, later. Oh yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. I understand entirely. Yeah. I just thought it was in, in, it was interesting how they managed to actually put that in there as well very very fun and and i think i'm not gonna say his name all right tenok tenok oh the the the, 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 the woman the actor actor yeah yeah no oh no, no, the no. actor i uh, don't know what his name is um i can't hard. say because i'm Namor. horrible with names and how how to <laughs> how to pronounce them properly maybe uh, you have a lot that looks like tenok to me tenok yeah yeah, Jose Tello Quarta Mieja. He's so freaking good. Mm, like, he is excellent. so good uh, throughout the whole movie. I've really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the whole thing uh, with him, everything that got to do with him. Uh, very well ca- uh, casted once again, this movie as well. Mm. I love Riri. Riri Williams. Who's... Yeah, she is wonderful. I will say, I did, I did enjoy her. She's, she's very good. I like the energy. Um, yeah, appreciate all of that stuff. I like the fact that she's so just good, fucking scrappy and smart. Um, uh, it's fun. I... I did. I saw a post um, because obviously she goes to MIT. Yes. Yeah. You know who else is going to MIT? Yes. It was just like let them be roommates. And I was like, yeah, yeah please. Yeah, I would. Because... Like, I would... For oh. those who don't, don't, I'm talking about MJ. I'm MJ, about yes. MJ. <laughs> MJ. Spider-Man. Guys, come on. Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God, that would be so good. Like, I, I loved <laughs> I, I loved the scene uh, where she realizes that it's Shuri. <laughs> and she freaks out. <laughs> it's so good. I was like, oh, yes, yes, this is so Riri. Uh, obviously, if you don't know Riri Williams, uh, she's the one taking over the mantle from Iron Man. Uh, she's going to be our Iron Heart. Um, and uh, obviously, this was her first appearance, but uh, we're going to get an Iron Heart series as well. Mm. Uh, one thing, well, two things I will say about her. Uh, first of all, that suit is atrocious. I hated that suit so much. <laughs> It looks a little bit like a Transformer. Or a Power Ranger. Or a Power like Ranger, you're right. I do, I see it. I didn't hate it, but I... Oh, I, I hated I, it. I, 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 I just, no. All I thought was I, I liked the fact that they made it as distinct from his, Tony's suits. That was what I was like. I was looking at it like, oh, there's the, I see the uh, the uh. effort that was made here to make it not look like he, she was just putting on an Iron Man suit and she was making her own thing. 
but I hadn't really thought about it much other than that yeah, she does look she looks like Transformer. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, uh, I was like, oh my god, they can't be serious. Uh same thing with uh, the suits that Okoye uh got uh Yeah, from she looks like a fish. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, oh my god, they can't be serious. <laughs> Like I loved everything, all of the, every other design I fucking loved, and then these two things pop up, and I was like, "Oh my god, no, <laughs> do this, please." This. It's all right. Okoye hates it as well. You know, it's like I'm with you. I'm with you, Okoye. <laughs> I don't like it. Either. Uh, and the second thing is, <clears throat> this is a message to the fucking races that sat next to me. Uh, Fuck you, first of all. Uh, second of all... Why are you here? Why the fuck were you there? I, like, what were you expecting? You're watching a film full of black uh, and Mexican and... and... Were they... Oh, no, that's the first film. <laughs> I was thinking about Korea and I was like, oh, yeah, that, that happens in the first film. Um, so all this excellence in there. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Like, literally, I'm not joking. The scene comes up when they go to find Riri uh, at the mm -hmm. university. And I hear him say, like, very... Look at this. I bet that she's going to be black as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the fucking problem with that? <laughs> like, you know, it's just like... Shut the not fuck news. up. <laughs> that news. Uh, please don't ever come to any of these movies again <laughs> you're horrible uh, yes end of message I hate you um, but uh, yeah uh, that's that's it that's it that's all I want to say mm. Riri is great and I can't wait to see more of her uh, okay. uh, always fun to see M'Baku who I mm. just adore Winston Duke is great uh, so good <laughs> I so love good. the fact that he gets to take on the sort of because we haven't really seen a father figure yeah. for any of them really yeah um, yeah. So he gets to be in this incredibly paternal um, place. Mm. This is just fun. I just it's, enjoy it. Yeah, I loved his interactions with Shuri as well. Like it's, it's like, like hello, know. I'm going to be your counselor now. Are you sure you want to do this? And she's like, fucking yes, I will. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you figure this out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it so much. Uh, but altogether, just to summarize the whole thing, uh, it could have been tighter. I think it could mm. have been. Uh, you know, uh, that that could have been some changes made and whatnot, but altogether, I was very happy with it, uh, because I I think uh, what they achieved is is just it's just beautiful as as a big 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 very heartfelt tribute to 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 Chadwick, mm. uh, and. Uh, and as a movie as well, I I really did enjoy it with all its faults and everything. I'm mm. I really did enjoy oh, it. Oh yeah, I, I had a fun time. Yeah. I did I had a fun time. It was it was beautiful to look at. The the acting was just fantastic. <laughs> uh yeah. Um yeah, and I can't wait to go back to Wakanda again. Uh hopefully pretty soon. Um Can I ask you a question? Yes. Because I, I wasn't sure what to make of this. The scene right at the end where he's painting the mural and he's talking to um the uh, I think I think her name was Namor with like I think so. Or, uh, yeah. Something like that. Um yeah. I I I I struggled to interpret the emotion behind that scene. Cause I couldn't tell if it was a man who was manipulating the situation to his benefit. Or if he was trying to push that idea, because actually he was incredibly en enamored with everything that Shuri did. Because I read somebody suggesting that online, and I didn't read it that way, and then I got confused. <laughs> I think it. I, I I think it's the second one, as well. Interesting, because it really it felt a little super villainy to me when I was watching it. And I was like, I don't think it's meant to read quite like this, because it's a bit. It feel, I don't know. It was just me. I had I had trouble. Uh, interpreting the emotion of that scene, it's hard, yeah. and I'm not gonna like uh, Namor in the comics as well. It's it's like he's a very anti-hero like figure mm. a lot of times. He does a lot of bad stuff. He does a lot of good stuff as well. Uh, yeah. It's it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I I okay. was a bit on I'm edge. I'm just glad so. I'm not being like intentionally obtuse. <laughs> no 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 no. I I was a bit, but I I. Think I will have to agree with the with the with the second 
opinion mm. there. Like probably there, but we're gonna find out. It's the MCU, so I'm I but think we will true. find out. Uh okay, rating on the movie. What would you say? Are you doing this out of 10? Because I always find yeah, it yeah, hard yeah. to do it out of 10. Um, <laughs> what, 10? Hmm? Solid, like, 7 or 7.5, I think I'd put it at. I would give it an 8. Yeah. I would go with an 8. I really didn't. I really, really liked it. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. We loved it, and thank you, uh, <laughs> uh, Ryan, uh, for you know all of it. Mm. it really, was beautiful. Uh, yeah, we miss you, Chadwick. Mm. Uh, and yeah, that's not next week. Hold on, week after next. Yes, uh, we're gonna be back uh, with a special episode. It'll be on the December first. I we think so. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Time flies away. Um, we're going to have Tinnit and Elliot come on to talk about Andor as a whole. I'm properly um, buzzing to do this as well. Oh my God, I can't wait. I just can't wait. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be back with Avatar, the way of water, uh, which I am so... <laughs> Sorry. Oh shit! Yeah, we have to. Do- oh my god, we're gonna have Jeffrey as well. Uh, Maybe I mean, we'll have we- to do an extra episode in December. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind that. It's Jeffrey, so it's all good. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, there's a lot of good things still to come on this lovely mm-hmm. podcast we have. Um, go and watch Black Panther. Uh, and yeah, that was us. Don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment of what did you think about Black Panther if you've already seen it um, and we will see you all in two weeks mm. for a fun time talking about anti-fascism yes <laughs> <laughs> we love you yay! all yay <laughs> yeah, bye goodbye